loved exploring. One day I found a hidden path. It led to a beautiful orchard. The orchard shimmered with golden sunlight. Sweet songs of birds filled the air. The trees were laden with strange and colorful fruits. I felt a sense of magic around me. I had never seen fruits like these before. They sparkled and shimmered. Each one had a unique glow. Curiosity filled Oliver's young heart. What secrets did these fruits hold? Drawn by their allure, I reached out and gently plucked a fruit from a branch. It felt warm in my hand, pulsing with a gentle light. This orchard was no ordinary place. It was a realm where the ordinary laws of nature were bent and twisted into something extraordinary. It was the enchanted orchard of Whispering Woods, a place whispered about in legends and tales passed down through generations. The fruits held magical powers, each one more wondrous than the last, shimmering with an otherworldly glow. The red fruit could make trees dance, their branches swaying gracefully as if moved by an invisible hand. The blue fruit could make animals talk, their voices filled with wisdom and secrets of the forest. The yellow fruit could make wishes come true, turning dreams into reality with a single bite. I was amazed by the sheer magic of it all. I had stumbled upon a truly magical place, a hidden gem that seemed to exist outside the bounds of time and space. Oliver took a bite of the red fruit, feeling a surge of energy course through him. To his astonishment, the trees around him began to sway, their movements synchronized in a dance of nature. They swayed in time to a melody only he could hear, a hauntingly beautiful tune that seemed to come from the very heart of the forest. It was a beautiful and mesmerizing sight one that filled him with a sense of wonder and awe. I realized the power I held in my hands, the ability to change the world around me with these magical fruits. I felt a sense of responsibility, a duty to use this power wisely and for the greater good. I knew I had to use these magical fruits wisely to bring joy and wonder to those who needed it most. But I wasn't sure how. I needed guidance, a mentor to show me the way in this enchanted world. Suddenly, a wise old owl hooted from above. It had been watching Oliver. It knew the secrets of the enchanted orchard. These fruits are powerful. Use them wisely, young one. Oliver, a little scared, listened intently. He knew the owl was trying to help him. The fruits are gifts. They are meant to help others, not for selfish gain. Oliver nodded, understanding the owl's message. I promise to use the fruits responsibly. The owl, satisfied with Oliver's sincerity, became his guide. It taught him about the magic of each fruit. Section 4. Oliver's Acts of Kindness This is the story of how Oliver, with his magical fruits, transformed his town and brought about incredible changes. I used the magical fruits to help my town in ways that no one could have imagined. Each fruit had a unique power that could solve different problems. First, I used the blue fruit to talk to the river. It was an extraordinary experience hearing the river's voice and understanding its needs. I learned it was drying up, and it was in desperate need of help. The river's plight was affecting the entire ecosystem. With the wise owl's help, Oliver used the red fruit's magic. He made the trees dance, and their dance brought rain. The river was saved. The once dry riverbed was now flowing with fresh, life-giving water. The townspeople were amazed. They saw the positive changes. The river's revival brought back the lush greenery and vibrant life to our town. Oliver used the yellow fruit to heal a sick child. The town rejoiced. The child's recovery was nothing short of a miracle, and it brought hope to everyone. I continued to use the magical fruits. I helped my town in many ways. From healing the sick to bringing prosperity, the fruit's magic knew no bounds. He brought joy, health, and prosperity to his community. The enchanted orchard became a symbol of hope and unity, reminding everyone of the power of kindness and the magic that lies within. Section five, a happier town. This is the story of how one boy's actions transformed an entire community. I, the boy who loved to explore, became the town's protector. My name is Oliver. 
and my journey began with a simple curiosity about the world around me. I never used the fruits for myself. Instead, I shared them with everyone in the town, ensuring that no one went hungry. I always thought of others first. My heart was filled with joy every time I saw a smile on someone's face because of the fruits I shared. The enchanted orchard was no longer a secret. Word spread quickly, and soon everyone knew about the magical place that provided for us all. It became a symbol of hope and happiness. The orchard was a place where dreams could come true and where the impossible seemed possible. The townspeople learned to appreciate its magic. They understood that the orchard was a gift and they treated it with the respect it deserved. My story teaches us that even the smallest among us can make a big difference. It doesn't take much to change the world, just a bit of kindness and a lot of heart. All it takes is a kind heart and a willingness to help others. Oliver's actions showed us that one person can indeed make a significant impact. And so, the town prospered, blessed by the magic of the enchanted orchard and the kind heart of young Oliver. The End Oliver's legacy lived on, reminding everyone that true happiness comes from giving and sharing.